Bounty. Oh, cute. Hey, nice. <laughs> All right. Need any of that? That's pretty awesome. Hey, I like your gloves too. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know you got quite a bit done in here. Yeah, I guess. This is some really heavy stuff. Watch my eyes. Okay, watch your eyes. Oh yeah. Like you have a couple of stuff in here. Pop that little metal thing in Oh yeah.
getting there that's some good heavy stuff here this ain't too thick but some of this is probably a little thicker there yeah that's that's actually getting real heavy I don't know cast aluminum is generally pretty light but this is some pretty thick stuff yeah I threw a few of them in the I think this chunk right here, that's a nice chunk. There's the brass, a little bit of brass. What I'm actually doing, this mess right here, I'll go through this. There's some clean spot. This you can uh, either take that out or take it in dirty. I'll probably do a little bit more and maybe take it out, but usually the bigger chunks. I've been getting a few ballast out of this stuff. I don't know if you can see in there. There's some in the back. Now this kind of stuff right here. I look like a tongue there. This stuff here goes in the two foot. And that heat's pretty warm in here. I Cured up that fence post, it was all bent. I generally sell them. Wait a minute, let's not sell that in quite yet. Okay, for a minute there, it looked like brass. Didn't think so. Brass don't rust, but if it's got a pile of stuff that rusts, it'll look like that. Did you ever take the thermos in, Debbie? No. If you want, I'll go ahead and have a coffee and we're good. Right. Debbie's been in uh, decorating and stuff. Right. Taking off, Debbie? I brought a little bit more stuff over here, this stuff. These uh, weather heads or whatever they call them. They're not too bad to shear and you always get a little copper out of them. I got some transformers in there. Brought this copper radiator come off the one international truck we stripped down. We've had like three of them. This radiator, I was gonna keep it, but it's pretty much shot. And the one I got my one project I think is pretty good shape. That'll be the scrap eventually. Yeah, I guess we're getting a snowstorm. Look come in here and see a bunch of, I don't know about a bunch, a couple of deer running around over here. So I'm building my blade up for the press. This is just a demo. I mean, it, it, it will probably work. I got to get the press going. I got my, something just fell in there. My spool valve going. Got six of them on there now. I got the baler hooked up to one. And that's working, so I just got to get some hoses and see if I can fabricate this on the press, which that should be the easy part. I didn't get this cut real square. 
Got a little bit of gap there, but I think it probably will still work. We'll experiment. I want to get it all down to one level. But I might just try it and see what it does because this is going to push in quite a bit anyway with the force into that whatever I'm shearing. I tried to do it even on both sides. Probably a machine shop would have made that nice and pretty. I don't know how hard this steel is, but yeah, I could weld some in and the little flaws, but we'll see what happens. This is a junkin' pool over here in Porterville. They're done. Maybe we'll go sneak up and see what Debbie's got going on. I think I'm going to shut this heat down. I've been out here a couple hours messing around, maybe three hours. Still got quite a bit in it. Of course, I haven't been out here very often, but we will. Maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, put this away and lock this up. Yeah, for anybody who don't know, I know I'm getting a few new subscribers. I want to thank the people for stopping by and hanging out. And the old subscribers have been around for a while. So I'm actually really wanting to get back into more of the scrap videos than the house. This is a fixer-upper we bought. We're not. We're going to be working on this for who knows how long. Probably next year we'll get a lot more done. But for this year, we just kind of come over here and hang out and... What's that noise? I've never heard that before. Can you shut that off, Debbie? Are you backing up them screws there? So yeah, kind of getting a Christmassy over here. Full light that was here when we bought the place. So we drove, took a drive yesterday. We went almost to Toledo, Ohio, which is what is it, close to 100 miles one way, Debbie? Yeah, well, and we, a over oh, a little over 100, I guess. So, yeah, we bought this brand new. Uh, $500. It's a wood and coal burner. And it, um, never been lit. We assembled it. Well, we had to put a few things on it. So it's never been burnt. So someday we'll fabricate this in here just to kind of help out with a propane bill. It's got a ash pan in it. Tractor Supply has them. They're thirteen fifty, but they got them on sale. The same one for uh, twelve fifty. So we got it for five hundred dollars. We put fifty dollars in the gas tank. I don't think we used that much, but we was on the road pretty much five hours yesterday. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Uh, however you want to say it, but I'm going to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas and goodbye. Bye.